Now, we have a lot of customers that are starting to look at Dynamics for their global rollout. So Dynamics is certainly prepared for large companies that want to use Dynamics in their subsidiaries or starting to provide a centralized system. So, of course, I'm looking at the client in uh, English, but of course, we have the ability for users to display the client in language that they're comfortable with. So if we're working with um, European subsidiary, I can change my language and I get the ability to open the client uh, now with that selected language as my user profile. Now this is important which is not possible in other ERPs is languages such as German and Finnish and um, Scandinavian languages are actually very long words um, and so you'll see what Dynamics uh, which is actually quite unique about Dynamics is that will reorganize the user interface to make sure that there's appropriate spacing for those words to display in the user interface. What well, we also have support for operations that are working in uh, the Asia Pacific, for example, of course, is double byte character support. So in this example, Chinese. So I'll change to simplified Chinese and, of course, open up the client. And I'll see how my user interface is uh, presented with, uh, of course, the Chinese characters. Of course, what's important to point out, you'll see if I open up the customer card here, and if I go back to the client that I'm running uh, in this particular case in German, and I'll put them side by side. So, of course, uh, companies need to standardize on their data in terms of how they're going to represent uh, customer names, how they're going to represent their coding. What we're talking about is the user interface being available for the users to actually work in their native languages for accessing the operational commands. Now one of the other things that you might uh, want to, to support is subsidiaries or companies in uh, the Middle East for example. So again Dynamics is quite unique in being able to support full right to left support. So if I change to Arabic, you'll notice when the client starts that what we have is a mirror image of the typical user interface in Dynamics AX. So now I have my client in Arabic, which is right to left support. So I'll see that I have the navigation pane now on my right hand side. So if I go into our customer list, um, what I'll see is, of course, the presentation orientated right to left. Now, this is quite important from an Arabic perspective. Now, one thing that we do support while we operate in Arabic, um, calendars are actually different across different regions. So, um, what we don't have support for, for example, is a Hijri calendar, uh, which is uh, what is often required for governmental organizations that use a different calendaring system in um, in countries in the Middle East, for example. So, make sure you're discussing that with the customer if they really need that support. Now, one of the other things that we have is the ability for a user to work in their native language. So, if I switch back to, of course, in US in this particular case, and then we're going to work in our English client. If I have a look at my customers, I've created a customer here, which is my commercial corp. And I've assigned their language to be a, a different language to me as the user that's using the system. So in this particular case, it's German. Now this gives me the ability to work in my native language, that, but print documents and data in, in the language of the customer. So you'll see in this particular case, if we go and have a look at our orders, So this is an order that's been entered for the customer. If I go into my order confirmations in this particular case and then I print this to the screen, what I'll see is that I'll get my labels uh, printed in the language for the customer. So this is actually quite in important um, if we're doing international trade, for example, because I can now print the documents in the language of that customer. Now we do have support, for example, for item translations, um, coding, for example. Now this is something that you'd typically set up 
um, in this particular case payment terms codes you have the ability to translate that data so if that, that's something that you need you'll see in Dynamics if we go into uh, accounts receivable for example if I go into my payment and then my terms of payment we'll see we have the ability to enter a translation for uh, different languages so if I needed I could print a translation for German and then type in the relative text there that I need to display on my documents. So this is an important consideration in terms of uh, presenting data that's actually translated. Now this can also be done, for example, when we have our item numbers. So in this particular case, I've got my released products. So we can choose, in this particular case, my projector television. I have the ability to put translations in there. So I can choose a language that I might need to define to display specific uh, languages for those item descriptions that we might print on documents like order confirmations. So these are some important capabilities for customers that are looking at Dynamics as a, as a tool to help them uh, organize their systems across their um, geographic expansion or rein in or consolidate systems where they might have a lot of disparate systems and centralize on one system like Dynamics, for example. So the multi-language capabilities are really important to uh, global customers.